Hey guys, this is Hugh Jackman from X-Men Apocalypse and this is our review of the EA7500 from Linksys. So right off the bat, we talk about the hardware of the EA7500. So Linksys has gone with a really industrial looking design, uh, all matte black, you have your standard um, about a A4 size kind of frame, where you firstly have three antenna bands provided with this router, and it also has a ton shitload of like holes in it, like all over the place, like grills and holes and stuff. And uh, Linksys, when we met up with them, they actually uh, told us that this is to create better air ventilation so that the device doesn't overheat and you don't get throttling from your um, chips when you're actually doing your routing. So, uh, if we look at the back of the device, this is where you have your unglam uh, ports. You'll see uh, we have two USBs. This means you can connect up like your printers, your devices to actually activate through Wi-Fi at home. And you have four LAN ports. Uh, for all you gaming freaks out there. And that's about it, really simple hardware. Uh, in my opinion, it's uh, something you expect from what you actually pay for nowadays, um, routers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So what's so great about the EA7500? I mean, isn't it just your plain old ordinary friendly neighborhood, you know, router? Uh, what Linksys is saying is that it's using a new technology, something that's pretty recent and uh, advancement in your Wi-Fi signals. So it's using this thing called MU MIMO. MU dash <laughs> hyphen M I M O. It stands for uh, multi user something 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 something, which I forgot. <laughs> Get back to you right again. Multi user, multiple inputs, multiple outputs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> MU MIMO stands for multi user, multiple inputs, multiple outputs. And What's so special about this, you know, particular term? Okay, so what it's competing against is the traditional method of, you know, actually uh, giving out Wi-Fi, which is SU, MIMO, single user, multiple inputs, multiple outputs. So the difference is that this um, router actually services your devices in like a parallel manner. Okay, let's take uh, Fat Tom. Fat Tom wants to, to, to like kind of go for a ride on the seesaw. But in front of him, there are five other Fat Toms that he hates. So if there are five Fat Toms, right, like five devices, then first Fat, original Fat Tom has to wait five times before he gets his first try at the seesaw. And then if he wants to go for the seesaw again, he has to wait another five times because it, you know, it keeps rostering and rostering. So Fat Tom will be a really unhappy Fat Tom. But if I had three seesaws, five seesaws, for example, that'd be a five by five, then Fat Tom can go for a seesaw, right, every single instant. Mm -hmm, that's how it works. So a 3x3 AC connection just means simply that I can have three transmit, three receive channels or streams. And this greatly influences the way you use your Wi-Fi and how efficient it is. So one thing Linksys is really known for is that they are good with their follow-up with their customers. Uh, Linksys has told us that not just are they releasing like quality software, but they only release the software when it's foolproof. Means you're not gonna have like, oh okay like, so two months later, I need to update this stupid software because it's buggy. Three months later, another software update. Linksys has mentioned this really specifically that they are only releasing products with the best, the top grade softwares out there. So you can expect like, you know, a really well-rounded, really well thought of uh, uh, software that comes with the EA7500. So right now, we want to reach out to you tech junkies out there. So. Uh, if you want to know the specs, pause the screen right about now. So one thing that Linksys is known for is its customer service. And Linksys has told us that they. <laughs> Is it customer? <laughs>
<laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> no. Is no. Cast the walls. Cast the camels. <laughs>